So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys want a the theme song shortened, so here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady or Martha Butler does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Casey Snow for edge and entertainment purpose. Okay. Martha, I've been trying to understand the history of books. This is for um, level four. I, I found um, in the Dream Life Valley library. Uh -huh. I've seen it for code or for helping me. I'm so glad as you assisted I am, but there's not much to say at the moment. I try to sort ways at the written here, but I haven't been had any luck. If there's only um Papa um transport machine and really worked. Um, translation machine, that's what, that's what my papa is an event. My dad's father's inventor, an investigative um, competition machine. He's one um, particular has this an idea and keeping plans for it just in case. It's, it's called Translation machine, it, it could be made into uh, difficult lang different languages. I suppose you use it for some of uh, magic things in the valley on creating its do. I know just we can. That would be wonderful if I uh, find a description I found with. I'll be remind me of him. Oh, well, thank you. I found them in the Beast's castle where we met. Papa, is it? Maybe let's drop them. Or you mean in the realm that you back into looking for? What am I? Is that what I'm looking for? Description page into four magic scraps onto what happened. The shelf. Great. I'll ch I will check the realm description page. Right now, because where I live, it's, it's raining all day. So, I don't have time to really do main missions, and then it's mostly doing all the other missions. Are you talking about this? No. Do 
game is slow! So slow! Thank you! Beast, it's right time. Are you ready for your evening with Belle? I'm not sure about this, Martha! Dude, so I am sorry. You can do this. You don't understand. You're using one in the valley, but I. Sorry, not literally. <laughs> Look, I know you're worried. Try not to be forcing on Bell. Think about your saving Bell from the wolf pack. You were thinking about yourself then. <gasps> no, I was supposed to. I'm thinking of Bell, and it's raising the safe known to me. There you go. Try to change that. Tell him that. I will try. That's all we can do. You can go ask Bell and find an extra romance. You should probably get past me, Bet. Station and thinking of keeping your eye on it. Of course. Here you go, Martha. And thank you for where of being difficult at times. I'm shaping. With your, your assistance. A villager is fortunate to have you here. Goodbye. I can't believe it! You found the page description that the agent all put together. And there it is. Papa wants to invent a machine that reads books, each other languages, printing, and translation. Like a computer. I'm afraid I don't know what that is! <laughs> Oh, Bell, if only you knew about the internet. <laughs> it's like a giant book, girl. <laughs> the most biggest book in the world. <laughs> it's sort of like a, a, like a thinking machine. Well, I suppose it, it could be... Black. Papa had a lot of ideas. In this investigation, but never worked. But why don't you take your pop, your father's idea for inspire inspiration and add something a little more than Molly? I know that you need a mother, or Wally probably has one. He always does. He's so sweet about it. I'll ask Wally then. What else do we need? I think that Papa played a lot of uh, soft wood, grass, and something long tempered parts. And I can't believe that Papa's invention might be real work. So, 
so how did you go? I don't have the words to describe it. Better! Beast, that's amazing. I'm so happy for you. Did you, What did you talk about? Everything. Everything and nothing. Belle told me that all that she's been doing in the valley. And, well, doesn't seem so intimidating now. Hallelujah! <laughs> she's even reads more some poetry and feels an interest in growing from me. She's just growing. And all I know is she seems to share them with me. And I like the gray stuff is very much. I know, it's delicious. You're right. That was very sweet. I was talking about you. Oh, thank you. Thank you for the first time in a long time. I'm exactly appreciate the bin forced onto my thoughts. Happy to hear it, Beast. Now, go enjoy some time with Belle. I will. Please accept this as a token. My thanks. It's been the good ideal tables on. You should go and keep it. I'm sorry I'm lost and have a lot of responsibilities here. You need a hobby. A hobby? A hobby needs some sort of so first duration? No, I do. What if you run an errand or something? Borrow a book from Merlin or Be for Bell. Merlin, the entertainer, I refer not to. All right. Why don't I might keep um your question a bit? But a book is a good idea. I've been wanting to get Bell some new ones. She has difficult borrowing ones from Merlin. It seems that others have them and no longer like to lend. Why don't I help? you out with that. Martha, I would be in your debt. Bell is said that Merlin is in numbers of frustration and not like read. Say no more. I gather some books from Merlin's house. Thank you. This is very nice. Device? I need a motherboard. Do you have any? Is that the thing? Ta da! W -w Wally! Ta da! Wow, you keep. You were keeping an eye on. Thank you so much, Wally. Yeah! I love how every day here is What did she say? <laughs> I didn't hear her right. I don't know what she said. Grab some glass. Bonjour.
Hi, Bill. Are these books for me, Martha? How kind of you. Thank you for... Thank, thank the beast, not me. It's just... I'm just a library person. Oh, thank you for helping me get them to me. I know he, he's not comfortable speaking with other villagers yet. Yeah, he's just rather shy. It makes things difficult for him. What do you think he needs? Well, he could use a friend. Someone with quite disposable. He spends so much time in this castle. Only his servants to come for comfort. He thinks he for he's forgotten how to make new friends. Hmm. But who can try to introduce him to? Well, it's how a big being someone friendly and be presentation with him. Let me think. How about Wally? He's friendly. Robot I don't that. It's a wonderful idea. Ro Wally would is gathering in Disney. Perhaps he and the beast can work together on plant plants. Wally then let's see about um Mary Bell. She helps out people already. I bet she'd be happy to help out uh, again. She used the management of personality of her own family. Beast is grumble as who bother her. That's so kind of you to do, Martha. I wish I look. I'd love to spend some time with you. Okay, here's your old fashioned computer. Let's see it. It's a machine in Eastern 2. It, his mom, so her dad made babble. <laughs> Martha, this is amazing. I never thought that Papa's adventure would be best built. And the translation machine is talking, making me ask him questions. And Peter, what kind of questions? Huh. Right now, asking me what's the name of the bravest how horse. Old. Let's answer. See, the bravest horse must be. Okay, Maximus is, um. is. Rapunzel. I think it's hers. You, you mean my horse, Well, you, You mean my horse? Well, he did get. He did get. Well, helped my father once. He was very proud. And then she showed me where Papa was. That's how I met the beast. I can see how the first proper answer. It works. Translate uh -huh. of part of the sense. The mystery book is the first words I am. Uh, oh. Martha, the question is related to me. How can that be? I'm not sure. Maybe it's magic here, a machine, since you are the one using it. Oh. That must be! Let's see what's next. Now, asking for a perfect timing and learning about the real identity of the story. The question is the moment a book is about to through idea. That's really very sad, Martha. I suppose some books are like that. It seemed like translations didn't you? I think that the new was wrong answer. Actually a little relatable into to a sad love story with you. The right moment the book is late and tragic. Pretty surprising answer. Usually the author of the character spends time together with such a Relationship. Let's check on the translation machine and see if you're right. 
It seems like asking for the same question. We must. Okay. There. Well, that would be. Happen my favorite book. Right answer. Right here in the words of the Dreamlight Valley. I am the Dreamlight Valley. Wonder if it comes to me after all. Question. Question. It's the last one. After all, we asked. I went to the station at first of this enchanted spell. Went to the spell. A teapot. A sort of expression. But to be sure. Doesn't seem like the answer is before. This is the right one. Darn it! Okay, let's... Okay. Oh. Why is yours always so hard? <laughs> Let's see if we did translation and reading the entire or since it's I am the Dream Land Valley for the first and best starvers. Another mystery. Can't read more and let's see the translation machine works. Thank you for your help, Martha. Let's see if reading the entire um, book. Okay. Let's talk to Mirabelle and, um, Wally. Fluffy? Say hi, Victoria. Wow. Holly, how's it going? How's the garden going? Wally! I was wondering if you, you want to make a garden buddy. Great! It's the beast. Yeah, you met him? I am trying to introduce him to more of the villagers. <laughs> Wally, are you scared of the beast? Aw, uh, don't be. I know he's big, maybe a little scary looking, but you're not used to him. But you're going to have. You got a big heart. You got to want to make some friends. So, good. Um, so you meet him with him. Perfect. Let's go and talk to the beast and see a for him. Okay, Mary Bell. Hola! Look, if you think it may have happened, of course. What can I do? Have you you met the beast yet? The new one in the Vela Valley? I have. He, we spoke a little. He's not really a chatterbox, huh? But hey, it's okay. Not everyone finds easy to meet new people. When we finally talk with um, Bruno, Uncle Bruno into the into the moving out of the walls. He's still plenty shy of cow. A lot of people were still shy. Absolutely, <laughs> and see if spend more time in the beast. So what's the plan? Why don't you ask him and see if 
See you later, and I'll swim creation of get that. See if we can yeah! swim together and help them feel more comfortable. Perfect. I'll pass along the suggestions, see if the beast is up to it. We are there. Hello. I'm back. That's good. I was worried. It took an eternity. You're right. Um, is that my apology accepted? Uh, accepted? I spoke with a few of the villagers and arranged a meeting with them, you know. That's... Ter terrifying. You'll be fine, beast. Don't worry. Well, Wally is the sweetest robot around. He would love to do some gardening with you. Please do not break him. <laughs> Mary Bell is just so friendly as uncle and always comfortable around people. She loves sewing and seeing happy sitting around with you. That's very nice of them. I want to do well. I don't know, Mary. I'm, I'm Wally. Do you choose to meet with women oh. to well, perhaps one day? Fair enough. I think I have a good idea. I'll show you the basics with gardening, with hanging out with Wally. With so I'll go with you. Alright, let's begin. Yes, I'm ready. He's not breaking him! <laughs> Good! <laughs> I know he wouldn't break him, this is a joke. So, how did it feel? So, how did it feel? There is no need to be generous, Martha. That would be a, a distractor room. That's fair. I never should have tried. Maybe Wally wasn't the best match for you. <laughs> I'm sure there's somebody in the valley that has similar interest in you. Why don't we talk to the idea of hanging out with someone? <gasps> That's hard to say. Someone that doesn't want to Christian me and Terry Someone who claims that wasn't startled by my appearance. You know, I have just the vil I think I have just the villager. You do? I mean, if there's someone like here, very immediate, um, I think Kristoff 
tries to fish and tell Nation talk to him. Fishing? That sounds restful. Okay, so where is he? Kristoff, I was hoping to feel a uh, conversation and have someone you know, with the beast. Oh yeah, I see him around. I haven't had a chance to talk to him. Oh, you can now. He's trying to meet new people. Uh, that's great. i just not the one who's supposed to socialize people. It's looking for hanging out with a big crowd. You might want to talk to Mary Bell. Actually, that's why I'm Came to see you. I think you two might hang out well, but you fly out like fishing together. Well, and he wants to fish. I'm in. And Martha, join us together, right? All right. Great. Mm -hmm. All right. I've been having a fishing contest of all a few guidelines. Oh. You need to catch at least four fish, um, salt water, two fresh water, and a um, bearing of full fish. At least three ponds into the salt of catching. I got it. You need to talk to the beast for a second. Then I'll sensation. Yes! Here we go. Be here. Hey, thanks. their eyes. Okay, I think I really got along with Kristoff. Fishing is pretty chill, and you two should have staying out with fishing challenge. I tell that. I always like fishing. That's a sound of old enjoyment. <sighs> well, find a spot in the sea competition. And check out the latest and see how you two get along. Thank you, so. I'll do my best. That's the spirit. Goodbye. Yep. Uh, uh, luck. Uh, good luck in getting with that patience of competition. That's fine. I've never asked how to get fishing and I was. Thank you. This is very nice. Let us talk to him. So, how'd how it go? You're a kind of bit in the conversation. He's. is someone doesn't silence something that can't be avoided. Wow. Well, that's quite a. a induction. We said in a ton of words each other, not. Um, taste. Yeah, I feel like he's. I've been kind of a spirit. Thank you, Martha. I have made a new friend, and now I hope that Belle will have less worry for me. Well, let Lex Big Day don't be a stranger, okay? I won't. <laughs> Thank you. 
So I haven't bought it yet. Apparently, the, at first this was gonna be the Haunted Mansion, but the Haunted Mansion had like a bug. But I'm happy I didn't buy it because apparently it's a game breaker thing, so. But I don't know what I'm gonna do because I already spent. I'm gonna have. I'm, not, I'm gonna buy a whole. I'm gonna buy this one and this one. And the Ursula one, so I gotta see how much money. How much points I need. Okay. What do you want, Beast? Hold on. Hey, huh? You doing okay? You seem upset. Roar! I'm not upset. I'm curious. That is the instance of bowling of Mother Gothel. What did she do now? It's not to me. It's what? The thing she said to Belle. Which is not. I will not repeat. Belle was quite hurt. I will not allow that. Good. No time like the present. Let's confront Mother Gotham. I agree. It's nice to have a realistic villain out there. I can't see what they're saying. They're not gonna do anything to me. Think of the people that might what my people might say. <laughs> Think of the darling Belle might say. Don't you dare Don't you dare say her name. <laughs> I will later be goofy and listening to their conversation. Or reading their conversation. Since this game does not have voice acting all the way. Huh. So, can we have agreement? You didn't go so well. She, she, uh, I can't stand this. I will not stand. I will demand something be done. A lesson? The a lesson is exact. No. She'll but she'll get pleased out of being cruel. Beast. I will not tolerate someone hurting Belle. I will not tolerate someone who won't aid me in seeking the justice. Leave now Alright. I'll give you some space. Well, well. Let's see what the beast drugged in. <laughs> or did he tell you to leave him alone? I will certainly hear the sound of childish torment coming from his dental direction. You don't need to be doing anything, dear. Please, just tell me what sort out. What did you say to Belle and make her upset in the first place? Ah, <laughs> uh, nothing. Just so sensitive. I was directed and literally and was telling her about the, her favorite fables. <laughs> I'm seeing suddenly that discuss further once she boarded in her horizon. Well, you be I believe you mentioned literally instance of what we use. Only, yes, pre-tell. Oh boy. 
I also may have said no one would be friends with someone who has such previous tastes in books. Oh yeah, what books would you read? Huh? Horror books? Where the bad guy wins? Huh? 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 Well, I'm gonna fry a book and throw it at you. <laughs> Mother Gothel, that's horrible. I'll teach her... Horrible, aren't they? Oh, never mind. I need to talk to the beast. Tell Belle I'm here always to impress improvement advice. Good. Now you'll always know to listen to mother. Come here. I'm gonna hit you with this helmet and shovel. Nope, I can't do it. Okay, he's cooled off, but now I can go over there now. Can we talk? Are you still going to ignore me about insolence against Bell? Nah, we'll get past that. We need to do something. Good. You're come to your senses. Hey, I spoke with Mother Gothel. It's bad. <laughs> That's what I told you. I'm sorry. I've just been so angry. I. You may have demoned something furniture in the castle. Something I forgot my strength and lost my temper. I would never harm you. Not anyone, please. You must believe me. Don't worry, I believe you. I'll help you get things fixed. You would? I would be in your debt once more, Martha. I don't want Belle to return seat in her home in such a state. I bet. It's quite a mess. Yes, and it shows how badly I lose my I lost my temper. Don't worry. I got your back. Let's I can help you pick up the pieces before we repair everything. Let's gather some hardwood, softwood, dry wood, and you know, just and we should be able to fix everything up. Thank you, Martha. Let's speak with Belle and try to assume that Mother Gotha was very was very wrong. Once we take care of this, we can talk to we can talk about Mother Gothel. More of you breaking things still actually reminds me of when, um, and once upon a time when, um, Rumpel still skin broke all those glasses. What did you break? Good day. It looks so much better, thank you, and still so burnt. It's okay. I can fix it. The furniture for you. Okay, guys. So I got all the stuff I need. Let's let's go craft it. Ah, he broke a couch. And he broke a bench. Okay. Inside his castle. Okay. I think I did pretty good making my character look like um, a, a girl version of him. <laughs> Jack. Now, what do you see to get him in this game? Wait, is he gonna fix it? Here you go. You put it back together. All fixed. Here. Place looking good. Isn't it? Bell will even be able to tell. It is. It looks even better than before. How did your talk with Bell go? Did she angry that you broke a couch and a bitch? It went well. She understood that things that Monica also said was not true. I think that we know that she should not even talk to. Take what. But Agothel said to heart. 
That is very mature of you. Perhaps, but I'm not convinced that something should have been done. What should you? What do you think, Martha? I should just put the this in the past, or should I demand Mother Gothel how much mistakes she made? Hmm. It's important. That's an important decision. Are you sure that you want me you want to make it for you? I will respect your, your appreciation. Let's see. To resolve this it, the situation with Mother Gothel, you should... Um... <laughs> Very well. I will need your help. How should we go about this? Well, we definitely need to teach Mother Gothel a lesson. But the valley is no valuable zone. This ain't Kingdom Hearts. What? No! Kingdom Hearts! We will go kick her butt! <laughs> I understand. I will not harm anyone. Even though we should. <laughs> what we need to do is make Mother Gothel understand that how she hurt Belle. Even though she probably won't because she's a villain. You should go and see Merlin. He's a good therapist. <laughs> Very well. Let's speak with the uh, enchanter. <laughs> this, this, then we will make a plan. I like the fact he called her well, Merlin enchanter. <laughs> I have dealt with the one! They are terrible, but they're good at teaching lessons! <laughs> the way that we buy them for, that's fine. Um. Uh, what brings you to see me today, Martha? Uh, it seems that we have a si um, simple of situation. I could use some magical advice for you to have a moment. Of course, what it seems to be the problem? Well, we've been having some sort of issue with Mother Gothel treating others in the valley. She wants... She was exactly ruling exactly rude to Belle, quite infuriated the beast. I wish you'd turn it into your fog for a bit. Say no more. That would <laughs> I would love to see her <laughs> do that. That's a good off it's a nice offer, but not exactly what I'm looking for, even though it would be cool to make her look like a frog. <laughs> Do it. Do it. <laughs> Perhaps a squirrel or maybe a fish. <laughs> Anyone will work. Very tempting, Nad. Think we'll stay away from transforming from now. That's the stuff. <laughs> Splendid times, as an animal always teaches a lesson for my Samson. We need something that will show Mother Gothel exactly what kind of person she is. She always is so self um absorbent and arco um arco game. If she saw herself the way she so many others see her, I think she would be so wouldn't be so quick to launch out. Ah, say no more. There is an enchantment item that to be used the went the mirror of truth. Oh, we're gonna do a little bit narcissistic thing here, aren't we? <laughs> well, if she goes and puts her hand inside water and then pick and then hits her head on a rock and 
It gets a concussion. Don't come crying to me, but let's see what happens. <laughs> um, go on. Then one up into the mirror and open the true self, without any seem possible illusion or self illusion. If so, if Mother Gothel looks into it, so that I no. <laughs> I'm kidding. No, she's only allowed to get old and have that happen to her. <laughs> no, she, she'll see part of her that acts so cruelly. Perfect! How do I make it? You need a golden um, ignite glass, um, pure darkness shards, and dream shade. I'll get started on it. Thanks, Merlin. Yay, let's go show him some my narcissistic mirror. Why, hello, Martha. What have brought... Have you brought me a gift? You're thinking a little bit... You're thinking a little bit something from the... Beast for me. Go on, take a look. We didn't get to even see her look into it. Come on. Something on your mind, Gothel? Come on, share with us. Uh, nothing at all. Oh no! Wait, reflecting. Perhaps something caused you to see some yourself in a little light? Uh, you're behind that enchanted mirror, aren't you? What horrible illusion you planted with it. A mirror of truth scene. Whatever you saw in is already deep inside of you. Impossible. You're lying! I am not. I refuse to believe you. You, I refuse to look at that thing a moment longer. Before I promise I never bother. If I promise never bother Bill again, I will not get rid of that. You will get rid of that horrible mirror and leave me be. You have. You're going to swear to leave Bill. Leave Beast and Bell alone. Yes, I only will stop that horrible enchantment. I'll move the mirror if you keep. You don't. If you don't keep your word, I'll put it back. <laughs> I will never want to see that horrifying illusion again. I promise. I will leave Bell and the Beast be. That since they obviously can't stand a little teasing. I had known that the beast had caused just a frustration. I would have been more careful. Almost impressed. Well, I'll let you mow over to the Zolf. Bye for now. Be good. Ta -ta. Yeah, right. <laughs> I did it. Miss Coon's success, we got to her. She looked inside the mirror and saw her what she looked like herself. That she's the beast, not you. Mother Gothel had learned her lesson. She should leave you and Belle alone. Exact Excellent. Thank you, Martha. I'm glad I'm, I'm glad that we done something to make the valley kinder. More than that, I think Mother Gothel exactly a little impressed. She is? She's difficult to understand as long as she Bell is happy. All oh, that's all that matters. Speaking of Bell, are you too good now? Yes, she's no longer bothered by Mother Gothel's sight. She is quite happy with reporting. Frustration in the castle. I am happy for you. Now 
to go enjoy a little bit of your time with Bill. I will. Thanks to you. I can go f just enjoy each other company. Okay, there's that one done. Okay. Alright. Time for a bell to be have a rep so or level seven one. Okay, Bell. What is it? Mark but I promise I wouldn't let you know when the translation machine was done translating the mysterious book. Would you have time to talk about something odd or happen? I'm listening. The translation machine did translate the mysterious book. At least enough for me to realize that the book is actually a journal. Within writing called the uh, Dreamlight Valley's Best Mysterious um, so, um, Solar? No, mysterious oh, Solar? Yes, I think so too. I asked, but no one here seems to remember who the villager was. Does that journey consent any clues of who it might be? I'm not sure. But there's some clues that I can't read was wording on the shifting. I was if you could take a look at some of the, one of them for me. Of course. Here. Oh my. It looks like a floating memory takes came rusting back. Remember something about the object lost beyond the water near the ruins. People are taking falls to receive it. Your memory is coming back? I think so. I hope it I hope that's true. Perhaps whenever we lost Mano, the water is still there. I'm trying to find a spot to fish. I have to find anything maybe that next to clue or figure out the mysterious song was. Was wonderful rain if in nearby ruins. Bill, aren't you going to do your animation? I saw in the trailer. Okay, we're at... Some they were inside. Looks like near a bunch of chests. I remembered this. Someone helping a mysterious lawler and dropped their hat in the water. There, a bit fish among the fishing and trying to get back. No one could. So I am Martha. The hat is stripping into another memory. The board into the picking up where we were into the direction. Mysteriously. Where could it be? It was inside the house because anyone could come and go easily. But it's definitely inside the building. 
it will find a mysterious ward. a little harder to find. A memory that came back to me, a mysterious soul alert. It's me. After helping a friend solve a few puzzles, Mickey, uh, many Mung's people to downstairs when I was the best mysterious solver in the valley. Uh, she gave me a journal that was written on that I could note that on my adventure. Oh, I had spotted a house where I could where Shirtson wrote. I wonder what happened to all this stuff. You're right, it's n it's not there anymore. Oh, I can create a spot for whom again. I think it's obviously always part of from Miss Reduck. And the, the, the beast would help. Let's help. Oh, Martha, that would, would love to be wonderful. Oh, hello! Hey, Beast! Did you know that Belle was the best mystery solver in Dreamlight Valley? That sounds... familiar. I want to help her set up a place to... else again. Wherever she plans to turn next adventure. Can you help me? For Belle. Of course! I'll do anything! I've been waiting for the right moment to give this her, but this here, take it. Martha, this, that's this it. So much, I never thank you so much enough. I am. I'm very happy. Here, I want to put it, everything in place. There is everything fits perfectly. You know what's missing for this occasion? No. What do you suggest? Let's use the camera painting. And imagine into your house and remember what the monk of the operation of the history of your valley. I would like that, Martha. Thank you. I forget I skip some lines being a mysterious solver you'd be um, before Valley forgive us I remember writing a journal in, with you we used a secret language no one could uh, read except us that's what your idea wasn't isn't it that's wonderful thank you again Martha I'm going to take some time morning to see of all finding something interesting.
and that should be it, guys. I'll see you guys later. Like, here, subscribe, and this is definitely should be the end of the video. Bye-bye.